so viewers this is the conclusion of uh, the affection of the p2589 on the nissan central and uh, i'm putting back uh, the valve body into the car and i'm also providing uh, alternative solutions because in my case i soaked the solenoids in a carburetor cleaner for it to break uh, the gunk that actually developed in the solenoid and then blew off to create some spaces in the holes of the solenoid but alternatives are that you could buy a new valve body and then install it on the car but this requires you to actually reprogram the car after that at least you have to do or you have to send the car to a dealership for them to reprogram it for you another alternative with the new valve body is to take out the ram chip that is found on the old valve body and then transfer it to the new valve body that way when you install it you wouldn't need to reprogram the car and uh, the probably the other I mean the alternative that is if the car is still under warranty is for the for you to take it to the dealership so that uh, they would actually replace a new CVT transmission for you but in all the most important thing is schedule an interval or allocate a time where you can frequently be changing your CVT fluid on your car so that it doesn't end up uh, retaining some of the uh, gangs in the solenoid which would actually affect how the CVT operates and I hope these solutions might help you in the future and thank you very much for being with me throughout this time Once you finish and tighten the remaining longer bolts, you go ahead and, and uh, tighten them to specs. We put back the manual plate on and it's not We also put back our oil strainer.
put back the transmission uh, the filter bolt Now that we have our oil pan cleaned, we'll go ahead and then install it. We start with hand tightening the bolts, just to have it securely attached. At least you can do it at the endings to make sure you have evenly distribution and holding the pan together before we put the remaining ones. Now that we've hand tightened it, we'll go ahead and then to tighten it to spec. And it's usually down crisscross. So we start here first. Then you come across Then we do the second here Alright There we go Then Up to the end here Crisscross Okay, then we come this way. Crisscross. Then now we go across all the way to this side. That's good. And now we do the rest and then go ahead. The next thing we do is put in the charging hose. We use the Allen key to put it back in. So once that is seated, you go ahead and then Tighten it to spec. Okay, do not over tighten it. Then go ahead and put our plug. It is, it is very important to change the gasket of the plug.
as of now you don't need to tighten this you just need to let it be that way and put the car on a level ground but before we do that we need to put the CVT to check and see if there are no leaks I had uh, these from AutoZone and that is what uh, I'm using because here it says in the right and that it is also recommended for uh, Nissan NS1 then NS2 and NS3 so that is what we're using for the CVT and it's it is also the green type so that is what uh, I know the NS3 is also Go ahead and then put the fourth one. So with the fourth one in there, we'll turn the engine on, let it run for a while, then uh, check and see, and then add that is make sure the car is on the flat surface then check on the fluid level if it is not coming from, from the charging pipe we add some more until we see it coming up so let's uh, turn the engine on so while the car is running we go ahead and change the gears reverse Neutral drive Low. So the problem was fixed after taking the car for drive I could see that uh, the transition in the liver was okay and the problem has been rectified well, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and if you also have a different opinion, please you can comment below. Thank you.